What's up everybody, this is Dallas Doan here. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you a few things in Blender. I'm gonna show you how to extrude edges uh, and be able to scale the edges right after you've extruded them. Uh, I'll show you how to repeat your last action, kind of like the G key in Maya. And then I'm gonna show you how to snap with no component spacings um, to align to a specific, to align multiple vertices to a specific vertice or edge that you'd want. Um, very similar to the snap, no component spacing in Maya. All right, so let's do the first thing, which is extruding. Now, this sounds like a very simple thing to do, but in Maya, it works slightly different. And uh, this is the only way that I was able to find that this works. So in Maya, if you select these edges and you uh, go extrude edges, automatically you can start to scale it uh, like right away, and it'll extrude out perfectly. Uh, evenly as well um, very very uh, there's no extra step to it right so in blender um, what you have to do is you select the edges right click go to extrude edges and right away you'll see that this is already like it's already kind of doing this freeform scaling in Maya this is slightly different uh, so all you have to do really do is just right click to say that yes I do I do want these edges extruded it is now obviously overlapping the existing ex, uh, edges so all you have to do is go to s to scale and then now you can scale it so it's that extra right click to say yes i want to make the edges extruded uh, that is the extra step in maya once you say extrude edges you've already have extruded the edges and you can right away scale it so that's very small difference but it makes a big enough difference uh, for Maya users to get a little bit confused okay now to do the uh, the easiest way to do the next one which is repeat the last action is to so I'm gonna do like uh, an edge loop so control R makes a edge loop around the object so I'm just gonna press enter here and I'm just gonna click it so I'll put this right inside the middle and then again you can just click on the other edge shift R will do the exact same action again shift R shift R right so if you just want to do um, the exact same action you can do that uh, again like right and then if you want to sh shift R okay so shift R is the repeat last action another easy way to kind of showcase this is for example if I select this face here uh, delete the face delete the face and now I go to edges select that another edge right click go to like bridge edge loops and then now I can just select on this one shift R will repeat the last action all right so that's another really good one now again the reason why i always bring up snapping is just because maya snapping tools in my opinion is just so it's so much easier because it's just like one or two it's like usually just one hockey um and so anyone who's coming from maya who's so used to how simple maya snapping tools are uh you will struggle with the snapping tools in blender blender has those same options as maya it's just it does take one or two more clicks or hotkeys to do what it is that you want so it's really good um, to have these tutorials kind of showcase this so in maya you know if you wanted all of these vertices that are not lined up to this perfect edge here um all you have to do is just vert you know press hold v and then just hold that the y and snap it to this and it'll just everything will snap perfectly right now for blender so you want to select everything right and then you want to go to scale so s and then because we want to scale it up the the z axis in blender we're going to press z and then we're going to press zero okay and that will bring everything to the scale on the z to zero which now snaps it perfectly right you want and then now you press enter turn on your snapping to a vertices and then you can slide it and it snaps so again it's just it's literally just you know two more buttons but it's knowing those two hotkeys and shortcuts that is going to help 
speed up your modeling process. And again, it's not that Blender's snapping tools can't do what Maya is doing. It is just slightly different. So it's good to learn it. All right. Hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe down below, and uh, leave a comment if you want. See you all next time. Bye now.